Let's take a look at the GMath add-on for Google Docs. Begin by launching Google Docs and create a blank document. Now, what I'm trying to accomplish is the creation of a math worksheet, handout, quiz, full of mathematical equations and expressions and even graphs, but I want to create it right within Google Docs. Now, this can be accomplished using the built-in equation editor found in Google Docs. However, that's pretty limited and a little bit clunky and tricky to use. So we got to find something better. And so what we're going to do is install an add-on. Now, an add-on is a small piece of software that runs within your Google Docs that allows you to accomplish a variety of things. There are many different add-ons available, and we're going to search for one called GMath. Now to install it, go into the Add-ons menu and select Get Add-ons. And then the search bar, just search for GMath. Tap on the blue Free button to go ahead and install it. Now you'll have to allow GMath to access your account. And then, as simple as that, the app has been installed. You'll know because a window will pop up telling you all about GMath and what it can do. Go ahead and X that out. And let's get started. To begin, tap on Add-ons, and you'll notice we now have a GMath menu built right into our Add-ons menu. And that allows us to create math expressions, create graphs, statistical displays, handwriting entries, and even get to the Help menu. Let's begin with a simple math expression. Now, once I click on that, I have this little sidebar, which is my equation editor. And it has a variety of input areas, including a speech-to-text area, a latex code area, a preview, as well as a bunch of pre-formatted expressions that you can use, including everything from fractions and exponents to inequalities and more complex formulas. So let's begin. I'm going to start with this latex box here. Now, LaTeX is a computer language that communicates mathematical expressions. And the good thing about this add-on is that we don't need to know LaTeX language at all to use it. The app will do it for you. So let's say I want to create a simple math problem in which we're going to multiply two fractions. Typically, this would be a difficult thing to type, but using LaTeX, it's very easy. I'm going to scroll down and select a fraction from my pre-formatted options. And you'll notice in the latex box, I now have this code. This is what it will ultimately look like. I can very easily change the values by replacing the A and the B with the numbers I'm interested in. And now I have one half. But let's say we want to multiply that. I'm going to come back down to my pre-formatted options and scroll down until I find the multiplication symbol. And you'll notice it has added the code for it in the latex box, and I can see what it looks like in my preview. I'm going to add a second fraction to complete the problem and substitute in the values that I want. I'm going to add an equal symbol, and this is what my problem will look like. Now all I need to do is hit Insert, and the problem will appear right within my Google Doc. It actually shows up as a small image, which you can actually resize to make bigger if you'd like. However, don't make it too big because it will then appear blurry. If you really need it to be larger, you're better off increasing the image size using these options within GMath. Let's try a different one. So I'm going to first clear out this formula. And this time, I'm going to use the speech to math function, which please note only works within the Chrome browser and will only work if your computer has an active microphone on it. If you have all that set up, you simply tap on the microphone and begin speaking your equation. 2x plus 7 equals 26. Notice it has turned it into a latex formula and given you a preview. And if you're happy with it, simply tap Insert, and your formula or your calculation or problem will be inserted directly into your doc. Let's try doing a graph. Now I'm going to select Add-ons, GMath, and create a graph. Notice I get a similar sidebar, but it's got some different options. 
I can add a function or an inequality and create a graph from that. Notice there's a default one built in. I'm going to clear that out before I get started. And actually, let's create a blank graph. So I'm not going to have any functions or inequalities in here. I can control the minimum on the x-axis and the maximum, as well as the minimum and maximum for the y-axis. And when I'm ready, I can preview my graph right here. And there's my blank graph, which I can insert directly into my document. Let's try creating a simple function. y equals 2x plus 1. I'm going to go ahead and preview this graph. And there it is. If it's good, you can go ahead and insert it into your document. Of course, I can add multiple graphs to the same axis by separating them with a comma. y equals 2x plus 5. And let's preview what this looks like. And there's my graph with my two lines on it, which I can insert into my document. One of the other nice features is that I can add a series of points to a graph using a table within Google Docs. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the table menu item and select insert table and create a table that's two by five cells. I'm going to call the first cell x and the second y and then add in some values. And now what I can do is highlight those values and select Get Points from Table. And you'll notice that data will be brought directly in and can now be graphed right within GMath. Now you can see my points right there, but I still have the two lines in. I'm going to go ahead and clear those out, and then clear the preview, and preview it again. And there's my graph. If I'd like to, I can even include a line of best fit by selecting this option right here and preview it again. And there's my line of best fit. Let's just quickly take a look at some of the other options. I'm going to clear my document and go back into the add-ons menu and take a look at handwriting entry. Now this is kind of a neat new feature which is actually still in the testing phase, so it might not work perfectly. But what it does is it gives you an actual scratch pad right within Google Docs where you could write using your mouth or if you're on a tablet using a stylus or your finger. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Please keep in mind I'm not so great at drawing with my mouse. But I can do something simple like this and tap on insert and GMath will actually turn that into a small image which is inserted right into your document. So that's how GMath works for Google Docs. This is a great way to create tests and activities for students within the Google environment so that documents can be shared and collaborated on very easily. If you ever have trouble using GMath, simply tap on the add-ons in the GMath menu and go down to Help. You can click on Learn More, and it will bring you to the GMath homepage, which is full of tutorials and information on using this great add-on. Hope it's helpful.